This is Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. It's a bit cold and rainy today in Florida, so we didn't make it out on the lake. There's a cold front moving in. But what we did do is we took a trip over to the Dollar Tree. And what I found was about a half a dozen items costing only $1.25 each. And I think uh, we can use these to come up with some hacks or ideas that could really improve our fishing experience. So why don't you follow along? Hack number one. The question is, what do you do with that line that you have left over when you've put on a new lure and you need to cut off the tag end of your line? Or you get a knot in your line, you have to cut it out, or that sort of thing. Well, you don't want to throw it in the water. That's environmentally not the right thing to do. And it's always a hassle to just throw it in the bottom of the boat and clean it up later. So when I was at the Dollar Tree, I found these little trash cans. They're designed to fit in your cup holder. And then they have a hinged lid that's on a spring close. So I think what I can do on my boat is I'll put this in a cup holder. And then as I get these extra pieces of line that I don't want to blow into the water or clean up after the trip, I can just stick these inside this little trash can device. And for $1.25, I've got an environmentally friendly way to handle those tag ends and extra pieces of line that would end up in the bottom of the boat. Hack number two. Over time, some of my favorite lures have gotten a bit dull, and there's different ways you can sharpen those lures. What I found at the Dollar Tree today was these metal nail files. Like I said, everything I found was $1.25. So the idea would be to keep a couple of these in our tackle box. And then when the occasion would arise that you need to sharpen uh, one of your points, all you need to do is take the metal file sharpen that point up on your, on your lure. They're pointy so they'll work on any size hook. But all you really need to do is freshen that hook up just a little bit by giving it a quick file with these files. They have a nice little handle on them. They come four to a pack for $1.25, so you can put a couple of those away. If they'd happen to rust or whatever in your tackle box, you're not out much when you're really only spending a little more than 25 cents a file. But what a great idea to sharpen up those lures as they get dull. Hack number three. This set is only $1.25 and it comes with a pair of nail clippers and two disposable nail files. You can use the nail files to sharpen your lures. And we all know that you can make use of an extra pair of nail clippers to cut line with. So for $1.25, a three piece set which includes two nail files and a nail clipper could be pretty handy on your boat or when you're out fishing. Hack number four. While we were in the Dollar Tree, I ran across this little box of safety pins. There's a couple different uses for safety pins, but one of the most common ideas or hacks is to take your safety pins And there's different sizes here. But where we've got these unruly hooks in our hook box, I can take these safety pins, open them up, and on some of these especially smaller hooks, we can feed these hooks onto our safety pin. And what you end up with is a nice organized set of hooks that won't, uh, won't roam all over the box. Hack number five. The next item we found at the Dollar Tree was these plant clips. It's a 20 piece package. And these are actually like little mini clamps. They're small ones. They're about an inch in diameter. And then there's these larger ones that are a couple inches. 
and they're surprisingly strong. I'm surprised how, how much clamp strength these have. The idea I had for these when we saw them was, I hate it when you've got your fishing pole in your boat or your car, or you're carrying two or three of them together if you're bank fishing, and you've got these extra lines hanging out, and they're always getting hung up in the next, next pole over. You can take especially these small clips, and you can clip that line so you keep it tight to the pole. That's for me is a pretty clever way to use a $20.25 set of plant clips and I got plenty of other little clamps left over. I can see glue and two pieces of wood together or something where you just need a little gentle persuasion. Hack number six. This item here is a knee pad sold in the garden section of the Dollar Tree. And the idea I had for this is sort of a modification of something I saw for sale online. You can cut this easily with just a razor blade knife. And my idea is to take this piece here and about every inch or so cut a slit in it not completely through and it doesn't have to be a precise measurement just a few down through here like that Maybe this one a touch more all right then we're going to take some double back tape length of our piece and put that on the back put this up in our boat about anywhere we want with the double back tape. And then as I use different lures and change them out, I've got a quick and convenient place to stick those lures after I'm done with them. And they won't be dropping in the bottom of the boat or falling down anywhere else. And they'll stay there. And with these mounted on the side of the boat, they'll stay put uh, at least through the day. And at the end of the day, I can clean them up and put them away as needed. Hack number seven. We all know how hard it can be to cut braided line cleanly. At the Dollar Tree, you can get needle point pruners in the gardening section. I've tried all kinds of nippers and clippers for braid, but I can tell you for $1.25, these needle point pruners, they make a pretty good cut in braid. I'm gonna keep a set of these on my boat. This has been Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. Today we've been to the Dollar Tree and we've picked up a handful of items that cost us only $1.25 a piece. And we've come up with some really neat fishing hacks. If you like our videos, be sure to like and subscribe and we'll keep those videos coming. We'll see you next time.